All right, guys, welcome back. Um, just like we've done the past couple of days, we're going to start off today going over the answers from yesterday's lesson. Um, so you will need to pause the video because we're just going to put the answers up on the screen for you. All right, here are the answers to the first uh, page of independent practice. Here are the answers to the second page of independent practice. If you notice that you missed a few of these on the independent practice, just let your math teacher know. All right, so today's lesson, we're basically just practicing everything that we have covered this week. Um, so I would definitely suggest looking back in your notes, especially on day one, where it gives you the definitions and the properties for all of these shapes. And if your page looks a little different from this, which some of them are going to, it's still going to be the same concept. You're just going to circle the choices that match each shape instead of listing them. All right, for number one, I'm looking back to the first day of introductions to quadrilaterals, and I'm just working my way down the family tree. So the first shape is quadrilateral, and this does have four sides, so this is a quadrilateral. The next shape is trapezoid. This is not a trapezoid because it has more than one pair of parallel sides. Um, so it's not a trapezoid, but then that means that it is a parallelogram. Um, a rhombus is a parallelogram with four congruent sides. So it means that this shape is also a rhombus because it has four equal sides. Rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles, so this is also a rectangle. And it is also a square because it has four right angles and four congruent sides. A square is a special shape because it has a lot of names and a lot of properties. Okay, on number two, we're going to start back over at the top of the family tree. So the first one, I know that it's a quadrilateral because it has four sides. Moving down, I know it is not a trapezoid because it doesn't have just one set of parallel sides. It has two pairs of parallel sides, which makes it a parallelogram. This shape is not a rhombus because it does not have four congruent sides. I know it is not a rectangle because it does not have four right angles, and I know it is not a square because it does not have four right angles and four congruent sides. So this one is only quadrilateral and parallelogram. The rest of this page is going to be part of your independent, but we will do two more on the next page, which is side D, and it's going to say quadrilateral classification at the top. All right, so number one, <clears throat> I'm again going to follow all the same steps that I did on the previous page. Um, start with quadrilateral. I know it's a quadrilateral because it has four sides. Um, next is trapezoid. I know it's not a trapezoid because it has more than one pair of parallel sides. It has two, which makes it a parallelogram. This would be considered a rhombus because it has four congruent sides. This would not be considered a square because it does not have four right angles. For number two, we're going to start back up at the top. I know that this is a quadrilateral because it has four sides. Coming down the family tree, I also know that this is a trapezoid because it only has one pair of parallel sides. Remember, trapezoids do not always look like what you think they are supposed to. You're looking for one set of parallel lines. Because of that, this is not a parallelogram because it does not have two pairs of parallel sides, which means it's also not a rhombus or a rectangle or a square. All right, and so you're going to finish the rest of these questions for independent practice.